Hi, I'm Rebecca Rose, the blogger behind Rebecca Rose's XL Fashion Blog. Today's video is a 20 facts about me video. I was tagged to do this by the blogger behind Curves Become Her. Artie, she has a great sense of style. You guys need to check out her blog. Here go my 20 facts. Most people assume I'm white, but really I'm not. I'm a mixture of black, Indian and white. I'm really short sighted and I should wear my glasses all the time but I don't. One of my dreams is to go to India and swim with the elephants. Most people want to go and swim with dolphins. I want to go swim with the elephants. I'm an only child. It's been a lonely existence. I love reading, but my all-time favourite book since childhood has been A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Barnett. I love this book. It doesn't matter how many times I read it, it still captivates me. And I know how the story goes and I know how the story ends, but it always makes me cry. My biggest passion in life is music. Not just listening to the stuff, but actually making music. I sing and I play the piano, and when I finished school, I went straight to music college because it was my dream to be a full-time professional musician. Life kind of took me on a different path. It's something I definitely want to start doing more regularly again soon. And I have a dream of one day doing a duet with Mark Antony. Like, I don't think it's ever going to actually happen. But if it did, I wouldn't want it for anything else in life, I don't think. I've never had a pet. So when I was still living in London, I used to do a lot of TV work. And I've met a lot of famous people. But I've never been starstruck by anyone. I might be able to sing, but I definitely can't dance. I have rhythm, but I have really bad foot coordination. Just to put this into perspective for you guys, I did ballet my whole life from the age of four or five to about the age of 14 or 15. And I was never, ever, ever put forward for a ballet exam, not even for grade one. Like I was that bad. All I remember from my ballet dancing lessons were like my teacher telling me to stop being so fidgety and to be more graceful and I don't know. I think she wanted someone who was dainty and I'm anything but dainty. If I'm dancing with a guy and he knows what he's doing, I can just about follow him if it's like a really simple dance, like maybe merengue, but yeah, dancing is not my forte. I, I am not a dancer. I'm bilingual. I speak fluent English and almost completely fluent Spanish. Um, I was born and raised in London, England. But I'm, my mum's Venezuelan and my dad's Spanish, so we spoke Spanish at home and I spoke English everywhere else. I am painfully shy. Seriously, I'm really shy. But because I'm like big and I dress kind of extroverted, like I wear bright colours and I'm not afraid to stand out visually in a crowd, people often mistake my shyness with unfriendliness or snobbiness, but I'm just shy. Very 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 shy and I can be a bit awkward sometimes and I get tongue-tied yeah just shy dogs children and parrots love me they stick to me like glue I could elaborate and tell you guys many stories especially about dogs and parrots but I don't want this video to be longer than it needs to be I'm actually a really creative person. I love arts and crafts and making things. I also really love sewing. Like, I could do that every day, all day, and I'd be happy. I love, love, love being barefoot. If I could be barefoot my whole entire life, I would be. I just love being barefoot. I think that's why I only ever wear shoes that are completely comfortable. Yeah, I need comfort from the ankle down. I'm not compromising that for anything. I'm a Libra. And I'm a typical Libra. I pretty much fit the Libra description. If you don't know what a Libra is, well, it's my star sign. But I mean, if you don't know what the qualities of a Libra are, maybe you should look them up. We're supposed to be the most charming of the zodiac signs. Not that I'm singing my praises or anything. I absolutely love the sound of rain at night when it's hitting against the window and I'm tucked up in bed and I'm nice and warm and dry. I find ants incredibly interesting. Seriously, I find them fascinating. I know, I'm a nerd at heart, really. But ants are very interesting animals. 
seriously. I prefer tea to coffee in general and I really appreciate a good well-made hot chocolate before bed. I used to really love watching Star Trek when I was a child and a teenager and I wouldn't go so far as to say that I'm a Trekkie but I know what a Klingon is, I know what a Changeling is, I know who Captain Kirk is and I'm a bit of a George Takei, no in fact I'm a big George Takei fan. Um, yeah, I told you guys I'm a nerd at heart really. I have really good hearing. I can hear in great detail conversations that are going on really far away from me or like when people are whispering and they think that no one else can hear them I hear what they're saying word for word and I have overheard so many conversations I really wish I hadn't overheard. <laughs>